Okay, so this is what Haley's new nape area looks like. I've been keeping the hair in these little twigs until the hair grows long enough um, to actually fit in the longer twist without like really causing any tangles. As you can see, there's more hair growing in right here. It's filling in really good. So because I keep this area in these little twists, sometimes I do forget to take them down when I'm washing the hair and I end up washing um, the hair in these twists. So I wanna show y'all what happens when you have your hair in twist just say it's been in a twist for a long time and you apply some kind of cleanser or shampoo or even a Johnson & Johnson head to toe body wash. It causes the sebum buildup to harden. I've found that anytime water touches sebum, it makes the um, sebum turn to a hard consistency. You can see I can't even get my fingernail through that. See that? And it's not product because I didn't put any product on um, this area. Many like I haven't used a cream product on this area, just some um, oil. So you see that? So I'm gonna spray some hot water on the twist. And when you apply water to the sebum buildup, well, let me say hot water. When you apply hot water to the sebum buildup, it does cause the buildup to soften. Meaning I washed the hair in the twist while there was sebum buildup. So the water touched the sebum. And because I didn't shampoo it off or cleanse it off, I allowed it to dry in this state, meaning I allowed the sebum to dry. So now that it's dried out, it's hard like a candle. So if you spray hot water on it or put some hot water on it, the sebum does loosen up. You can see that I'm able to kind of get my finger through it. But the sebum is only soft and loosened up until it dries up. Once it dries, it goes back to the heart consistency. So I'm just going to spray some water on the twist because it's dry right here down. And I'm going to fill for the knot at the end. I'm just going to cut that little knot off. I know it's there. And the reason I trim that off is because when I start to unravel, it's going to prevent, it should prevent the twist from snagging at the end. Give them a little comb and just start at the bottom. See how easy that was? If I would have left that knot right there, it would have continuously snagged, which causes me to break off hair from the roots. Kind of thins out the area. So I'm just going through. And I'm just using this comb because it's been probably about a week um, since I unraveled this area. Okay. I gotta be very gentle so she won't say ouch. Okay, so this is what it looks like close up. See that? So if you're wearing a protective style, just say you have your hair in braids um, or twist and you wash your hair, if you allow it to dry in this state, more than likely you're gonna experience this hard buildup, you know, like at the root of the twist or the braid. And then when you come and try to detangle or manipulate this area, it's possible that you're going to break the hair off. 
And we do talk about this in the consultations. You know, I always recommend wetting the hair and then applying grease or oil to this section because oil breaks down oil. Meaning when you put the oil here, it will thin out this buildup and then the hairs will release. So as you can see, I sprayed that water, the buildup has softened. And so I'm kind of able to release the hairs, but you see all of that? That's the buildup. Okay, we'll head down here. So I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. See how that, and that's just to soften the buildup. And then I'm gonna get about that much grease and just put it on the um, buildup. And then just rub it through, just keep rubbing. And now you can see the hairs are releasing from that clump. You see that? Now, if I wouldn't have done that and I tried to comb through this section of hair or even that section where the buildup is going to break off the hair from this section and down. So if you're not retaining a lot of length or retaining a lot of density when you wear protective style, I think this may be the culprit because you're not getting rid of this buildup before you manipulate the hair. So if you see like a lot of hair, when you detangle, you know how we detangle before we even start the shampooing process? So when you take down your protective style and you see a lot of hair in your hand, this may be the reason why. Because you're manipulating um, the hair with this buildup of sebum. You got to thin it out. You see how that released? Hold down here. And you can just keep rubbing until you get all of the hairs released. That grease is thinning out that sebum. Oil breaks down oil. See that? Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you're interested in a hair care consultation, please be sure to check out the description box for additional details. Please be sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And as always, thank you for your support.